Hello, I'm Mr. Kent of MrKent.com and uh, recently got a, a Parrot Bebop 2 FPV quadcopter and um, I didn't know for sure what it was going to be like because uh, they do something kind of special rather than using uh, glasses like Fat Shark or something like that. They use your cell phone which fits into this little guy here and then that slides into the viewer. And I had a, que a question from a previous uh, video I made. Uh, somebody wanted to know if the uh, clarity of the, of the goggles was the same as the clarity of the finished video. And the answer to that is no, it's not. <clears throat> because, first of all, it depends upon uh, the pixel size in your, in your cell phone. Because what it does is what they do is they take and they put the cell phone in here and you'll notice there's a square right here and that's where your camera for your cell phone looks out and then <clears throat> um, you have a trigger, I'll put a picture of the trigger uh, on the controller, you have a trigger that you pull and uh, that, that switches between what the quadcopter is seeing out of its camera and what your phone is seeing out of its camera. So you can switch back and forth. You know, normally if you're gonna fly a full FPV, you need to have a spotter, and that's still a good idea. Uh, because when you got the goggles on, you don't know uh, what's going on around you, and uh, you can't really see where the quadcopter is going and so forth. You just know what you see through the, quad, through the viewfinder of the quadcopter. Well, with this, <coughs> you can actually kind of be your own spotter because you what what I normally have begun doing is uh, I'll look through my camera lens at the uh, quadcopter out there I'll take off and I'll make sure everything's aligned right and uh, once I'm sure that it's ready to go then I'll pull the little trigger on the controller and now I'm looking through the camera of the quadcopter and so uh, it's full FPV and you get immersed in it <laughs> Uh, I'm still trying to learn how to keep from looking to the right instead of yawing to the right with the uh, control stick because it's so, it's so realistic. Of course, it's all new to me. I have, I've had quadcopters for, oh, a few years now. I started out with a Phantom 1, which was just called a Phantom back there, that had a, a, uh, a GoPro gimbal attached to it because it came without a camera. And I used that, made several videos, if you look at some of my videos, uh, and it worked great. <clears throat> but uh, uh, this Parrot Bebop is so simple to set up and use, and has all the bells and whistles, uh, GPS hold and everything like that. But it's really kind of a good idea to use what they do here. Um, and like I said, this just slides into the viewer. And when you're looking through the viewer, then you're either looking out of the front of the of the uh, of the quadcopter, or you're looking out through your camera, and so you can see what's around you and, and uh, check things out. And then you'll see in some of my videos when I lost <coughs> I lost the Wi-Fi from sitting underneath of a metal building or something. Um, uh, the the Parrot Bebop still keeps flying. And then I'd take my glasses off and look around and figure out what was going on and I'd hit return home and uh, uh, it would return home and I'd put my glasses back on and uh, keep flying. So anyway, it's a pretty good idea and if you're thinking about getting one, uh, I'm real happy with this. I'm not very wealthy so this is what I can afford. So anyway, um, I hope that helps and thanks for listening.